Now, what we'll be doing is creating a full sheet of graphite that you can use over and over again. It's a great method and it saves you having to rub the back of your picture every single time. Let's get started. It could be a drawing that you've created, any drawing you like. Now, this is a really, really simple method, but it's also great fun and very practical for you. You'll need your drawing, whatever you choose to do. You'll also need a spare sheet of paper and you will need the paper that you're going to transfer your image to. So that's two extra pieces of paper. Now if you want you can make this third piece your good quality paper in case you want to colour it. But just for the pro, uh, purpose of practising you might want to just use plain ordinary printing paper like I've done here. So we can set those aside for now and just keep one piece ready for creating our graphite transfer paper in a minute. You'll also need some tissue. It's good to keep your hands clean and you can also rub the paper a little bit as well to spread the graphite around. You'll need a HB pencil later to transfer your drawing or a pen. I suggest that you use a coloured pen. I've got a blue pen here instead of the pencil because you can actually see where you've been going with your drawing. Now, you also need this special little fellow. This is a solid stick of graphite. It's very, very handy. Now, of course, you could just use your one pencil and fill the entire page with your HB, but it's a big job and you really do need to fill it properly so that the transfer method will work for the entire drawing. So I suggest getting some of these. You can just buy them in the dollar store and they're usually a bit longer stick like that, but I just snap it in half. And a 2B or 4B is a really good level of tone to have. B just stands for how black it is, so basically how dark it is. If you have something like a 6B or an 8B, you might start getting really smudgy and messy. So this one is a 4B. Now let's get started. So all you're doing with this is you're just rubbing it across the surface of the page. If you find it's a bit slippery like mine is and it's not really covering, then you can use an emery board or some sandpaper to actually rub it across the sandpaper just to scuff it up a little tiny bit and then it works a bit better. So that's better. It's catching on the page more now. Now you can make your way all the way around just gradually filling in the page. You can also blend it in a little bit with the um, paper towel and this paper towel is a great idea as well to use in between using your sheets. So after you've used your sheet you'll find that it has a, um, it's lost a bit of the graphite and you can just keep refilling your graphite after each use. And of course it's only going to have a limited amount of applications you can use it for because it is quite thin paper and you don't want to use really thick paper otherwise you won't be able to press the image through in a little bit later on when I tell you about that start, uh, that part of the process. So you don't really want to have thick paper. So keep rubbing it. it. Takes a little bit of elbow grease to really get it in there so don't be surprised if you get a sore arm. Ugh, have to swap arms like I am. Don't worry if you get some lines or markings through it that's perfectly okay. It just picks up on whatever's underneath, like on the table surface. So I'm just filling that page really, really well. And you do need to get that fully filled for this to work. So then get your tissue and just smudge it all in. Gets into all those white spaces that have been missed. And then of course you can add some more. And keep going until you're quite satisfied that the page is really filled. Don't worry if it's not perfect, you know, if, if you find that you started doing your drawing and it's not quite working, you can just pull the sheet of paper out and then, you know, cover it with some more. So I'm just going to stop there, that should be perfectly okay. Now the next thing that we need to do, we'll just set that aside for a moment and we will now get our picture. So we have the drawing that we want to transfer and then we have a blank sheet of paper to go underneath. And like I said, this could be quality paper that you have underneath if you want to. Now, this part's important. We're going to take a piece of tape and we will make a hinge. So we're taping it at one end and another hinge at the other end. It's very important not to tape it all the way around all of the sides because the reason is that we want to make this flap open so you can open and shut. And that way, I'll just push that aside, you can then put your graphite transfer paper underneath. Turn it upside down like that 
so that the graphite is facing onto the new sheet of paper. Now try hard not to press down around the drawing because it will probably show up a bit on the page underneath, so just don't press too hard. Now using your pen, you can go around your drawing and start to transfer. And a really, really good tip is to press hard, but not too hard. If you press too hard, you're going to indent the page underneath, and then that looks really unsightly when you go to colour in. So just don't press too hard. Travel around lightly, just do a little area first and then pick up the page to see if it's showing through. You don't want that to move too much, but it is connected by the hinges, so it should be okay. Now remember to pick up both the transfer paper and your drawing to have a peek and see how it is going. There it is, it's definitely coming through. I'll just give you a zoom in so you can see that. You can just see the drawing coming through there. And that is great, I'm really happy with that because I can see it very nicely. And that's how you use the homemade sheet of graphite transfer paper. What you could also do, you can actually buy some trace down paper. Now this is called Frisk, this is just one brand. There are so many brands like Sarl and brands like that. But what you do with this is you take the sheet out, it's already made for you. Now I've already used these, so you can see there's some markings on them. They can be reused and reused. So you take this sheet and you'll see it has a darker side and then it has a lighter side. So you're going to be putting the darker side down. So I'll just take out my handmade piece of graphite transfer paper and then I'm just going to show you again. This is the darker side. Don't worry about the lines and I've used it a bit already. We're putting the darker side down. So therefore you're going to see the lighter side up, see, darker side down. That graphite has to be down on your drawing. Now the good thing is because we put those that taped hinge at the top, our drawing hasn't really moved. So I'm gonna show you the difference. It will be a lot darker because the graphite transfer paper is generally really dark. Sometimes that can be not such a good thing because it's really hard to erase as well. And so you can just make the decision whether or not you wanna use that for example, if you are going to do a black ink outline anyway, then it doesn't really matter if you do have a very dark outline. But if you want to have no outline or a very soft outline afterwards, I suggest that you use the homemade sheet because it's a lot more delicate. So I'm just going over a bit of an area here so that we can see how it's transferring through. Now we can peek at this. So having a little look, see the difference? it's quite a lot different. There we go, it's quite a lot darker. So you can see little Daniel Cuddly Cat just on Dad's shoulders there, and then Dad's shirt and his big arm. So like I said though, this one, the graphite transfer sheet that you buy, it can be a little bit hard to raise. And I just wanted to show you that while we're here, so you can see that it actually doesn't disappear completely, it's still there. But that can be a good thing if you're doing a black outline or you're gonna be coloring over that and you feel confident that will co cover the color. Whereas this one here is a beautiful soft outline and you can cover that very easily. Okay, that's the process of transferring your drawing using a full sheet of graphite paper. I hope you find that useful and I'll see you in another video.